first, something I would like to see on every table is to graphically analyze the problem. Because I don't see a lot of drawing. You, you start with computation, but you don't represent uh, graphically the, the problem. So I will, I will try to do, to do it. So as usual, we have two times, the sender time and the receiver time. And until now, what we draw it was arrows. And we say we exchange one information from one point to another. But that's all. In fact, now we are going in more detail what we are doing. So in fact, here I'm sending a PDU. But sending a PDU means two things. We start sending the first bit. And it takes a certain time for this bit to arrive to the destination. That's what we call propagation delay. And it's due to the physical, uh, to physics. You send some uh, signal, so it takes a time for the signal to go from one point to another. It takes also some time for the signal to be processed by electronic layers, electronic devices in your computer. So all that time, all these things take it, uh, are taken into account for the propagation delay. So here we know that the propagation delay is 0 0.3 seconds, which is a very, very long propagation delay, which can be viewed as a satellite link. OK, so here I have this. I send my PDU, and after that, the other side will send me, so it's data PDU, and here you will have an ACK. OK? And for this ACK, we have also propagation delay. And this propagation delay here is of 0, 03 second 2. OK, you get that? Yeah. OK, fine. So now, question, what is the size of the PDU? What is the size of the hack? PDU is 130. Same. Sorry? Same? Same, same, same one. Same size. Same size as PDU and hack? No, they are not the same size. They don't have the data. So, an acknowledgement size is equivalent to a PDU without data. So, what's the size of a PDU? We have seen, I remind you what is the format we, we saw, is that we have one byte for the header and two bytes for the CRC. And here we have data or SDU in VOZ terminal, service data unit. So what's come from the upper layer? Yes, so what we have in the text here, our standard, says that <coughs> this size is 128 bytes. So I just add 3 bytes for inner and CLC. So it's 131 bytes. Okay, so this is for data. PDU and for add PDU three bytes. It's three bytes. Because I don't have data here. Okay? So it's it looks like this. So data PDU, you have either 
data and CRC and for IPDU you have the only either and CRC. So uh, here I'm very lazy. So I will not write it and you can do the computation, but in fact if you look carefully, we have this time of 0, 03 second or 300 uh, millisecond and here we have some 10 minus 10 minus 6 okay for example if I look I compute the time it takes to send that it's 128 bits plus 3 which is the header so 131 times 8 because it was byte and I convert it into bits and I divide by 2 megabit per second or 2 megabit and half second so it gives me, if I don't make any mistake <coughs> by co uh, computing this value and you should be my CRC because I will I sometimes most of <coughs> other time do mistake when I am doing this kind of computation but here it takes 524, 10 minus 6 second to send this. Compared to this time is very, very small. Okay? So what we'll take into account here is almost just the propagation delay. So here it says I say that it's about 0 0.6 second to send 128 useful bytes. Okay? So, you don't agree? If you have questions. This one? Eight. It's three bytes here because it's an act. Hmm? Three acknowledgement. Here it's I send data PDU here. I am in send on wait. So I here I'm not taking it to account zero and I just use I just represent the same thing here except that I am just focusing on that part. I send the data PDU yeah. and I receive an acknowledgement. Okay? So, it's what I represent here, but here I add <coughs> the time it takes to send the PDU. I didn't, did, I didn't represent that last time. Or if you want to, what I represent in fact was that. I'm sending the first bit and I'm receiving the last bit. So you can represent it like this if you want to do only one arrow. Mm -hmm. So it's here and the three bits here is for the three bytes, sorry, is for the acknowledgement. So it means that here I'm sending and on, in fact that's the time it takes to send 128 bits. Because of course here the channel is empty, but I cannot send anything else because I have to wait for the acknowledgement. Okay? So, if I do the computation, in fact, I see that in that stupid example, the propagation delay is much, much higher than the transmission time. So, I can just Say it's two propagation delay. But I represent it here. And so, here, if I want to send two, mega, two mega kilobit of information, it means that I have to do 16 exchange. Because each PDU here contains 131 bit bytes, but only 128. I used to carry data from my file. And I add three extra bits 
three extra bytes, sorry, for my protocol. So if we look at the performances of my protocol, you should say that the performances is very close to one because the performances are very close to one because I am sending I want <coughs> sorry I want to send 128 useful bits and it takes me 131 bits to be sent. So this is very, very close to, I almost, I almost using all the bandwidth for data. But here it's just the vision when I look at the data PDU. Because in fact I have to look at the whole picture and the whole picture is that I am sending a PDU, data PDU, and after that, I cannot send anything because I'm waiting for the acknowledgement. So in fact, what I have to take into account is I, am, I have sent 128 bits here, but the time it takes to send the information is the time I receive the acknowledgement. So from the first bit I send of data, or data PDU, until I receive the acknowledgement. And if we look at this example, we see that it's horrible. We have very, very bad performances. So I use a way to compute it. You can <laughs> do it another way. But in fact, here, I, I see that I need 16 exchange to send 2 megabits of information. 16 exchange means that it takes about 9.6 seconds to send this information. So in fact, here I have sent, and here maybe I made a mistake, I forget to multiply by 8. So I told you that I'm not so good in computing things, but here so you have to multiply by 8, but it's, I have sent 2, so mega, a kilo is here, so 248 bytes, multiplied by 8, divided by this, because it's the time it takes to send the file. And so the result is, I multiply by 8 the result you have here, is about 1,000. Uh, about one kilobit per second. A little bit more than one kilobit per second. In fact, it's eight times two dot two seventy four divided by nine dot six second, and so it gives you something that is uh, is multiplied by eight one hundred about one thousand six hundred and something bit per second. Okay? So what does it mean? It means that compared to the speed of the link, the speed of the link was 2 megabit per second, and the speed, the real speed of my protocol is only 1 kilobit per second. What happens, for example, if I multiply by 10 the, uh, the bandwidth. Instead of 2 megabit per second, I have 20 megabit per second. Does it change something? No. No? no? Well, it changes just the, the time that we didn't take into account. Yes. <laughs> it changed the time I don't take into account. So it will reduce this. But in fact, I will lose a more bandwidth. Because I, can, I could be able to send more information during that time, but I am blocked waiting for the acknowledgement. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, that's why we see that send and wait is not a very, very good protocol when you have very long delays. Because you have to wait for all the acknowledgement.
That's why uh, next week we will see some enhancement of send and wait with a protocol we call anticipation protocol. It means that we can send more data than, and we send data without waiting for the acknowledgement. So it means that here I send a PDU and I don't wait for the acknowledgement, I can send another PDU. And I can be uh, optimistic if the error rate is very low. Because it's, some, it's one hypothesis we made when we design data network is that we don't have too much error rate. <laughs> Otherwise we have to send all the time the information. So we can suppose that by some techniques the error, error rate is very low so I can anticipate the acknowledgement I will receive later. And if I anticipate the acknowledgement then I can use all the bandwidth to send the information. So that's something important to understand and our send and wait protocol doesn't work with when we have very long propagation delays. But if you don't have very long propagation delays, it means if you look, if your graph looks more like this, I try to, to draw it and the propagation delay is very low compared to the transmission time. So here you can have good performance with send and wait and it's a very easy protocol to implement. So you, you can use it. Okay? So, now, because it's just Friday, before the break, so your, your brain is in very good shape. So we are going to do some more math, real math this time. So here we are going to suppose that we have some errors. So it's not always working well, so we have to retransmit the information from time to time. I don't know if we will uh, do all the exercise right now because instead of having a break, I propose you to finish before, so you will be on weekend earlier. So, read the exercise and try to answer to the first and second question and start the third one. And
Yes, I forgot to tell you that on the website you have both kind of slides. So if you want to have the slide with the correction, so you can go to my website class.tuta and you will you can download the, the, the answers. Normally on the PC it do you think it's like the worst case scenario? Just like maximum time. Maybe. This formula for um, probability is used when these two are independent. Because uh, they're using the one with the uh, one with my Yeah. 
Okay, so I will not give you the answer. You have all the weekend to to find it. Just answer to the two first question. So it's quite uh, quite easy. What is the time timing to send correctly a PDU? So it's what we we have seen before. Mm -hmm. So timing is the time to send a frame plus a hack and two propagation delays. Okay, so here we don't uh, have the X. Here we don't give values, so here maybe the, prop uh, the propagation is small, so we have to take into account the time it takes to send the frame. So we cannot do the, the simplification we made on the previous example. So here we have to take into account that. And the other value we have is the probability of success. So the probability of success means that we can send correctly these two frames. So it means that I can send correctly the data frame. So we have P here. P is where? P is already, but we have an error. So 1 minus P is a time quality. We don't have an error. Same thing here. The probability we don't have an error on the acknowledgement is so one minus so this is the probability of success. And when it fails, in any case, it means that if we have an error on the data or if we have an error on the acknowledgement, then this will long. T1, the time or time. So what do we have to do after that? Is to compute the time it takes to send a frame. So we have a lot of situations. For example, it was the first time. So it's team in. But it was the first time, it means that we have this with a probability of success. And the second case is, it doesn't work the first time, but it works the second time. So it doesn't work the first time, is this. But it works the second time. And here, it will take one time of time plus one time to send the information. OK? So, other case is it doesn't it works it doesn't work the first time and the second time. So this is this value, but it's probability. But it works the first time, and it will take you two t one two timers and the time for the for the correct transmission. So if we continue, etc., etc., so we can generalize it. So it doesn't work e times, and it works the time after, and it will take e timer will trigger e timer. We we have e timer. E timer that will expire and it will work the last time. Etc. etc. So we can write it as the sum 
between 1 or 0, it's the same thing, until the infinity of um, 1 minus t sec over i, t sec i t1 plus timing. If you have zero, uh, let me see. Yes. If I have zero, it's one. Yes, zero. It's ten. Okay. So you have one weekend to solve this formula. And so I don't know when we. I come back. I think it's Monday. Okay. So on Monday, we will quickly. Uh, Solve this formula, and then we will see the rest, which will be uh, layer three protocol. If my memory is good. No, we will see HDLC. Sir. HDLC is an example of anticipation protocol. That is 